First, to find out if there's any truth to the Dracula story, I've come to meet an expert on local history and food, Alexandru Sonov. I must disappoint you uh, because uh, Dracula is a creation of an Irish writer, Bram Stoker. It's only a fiction. But Alex believes Bram Stoker may have been inspired by a bloodthirsty prince, Vlad the Impaler, who ruled in the 15th century, reputedly killing over 100,000 people. So this, this, this Vlad... Yes. I guess he was called the Impaler because he did some pretty unpleasant things to people. He impaled them? Yes. How, how did he impale them? Just uh, through the through the back? Uh, there are different methods to uh, impale. Yes, uh, by the back, by the abdomen, or uh, by the anus. Straight up the anus. Yes. Oh. The story of Dracula may only be a work of fiction, but Alex is taking me to a village famed for its delicious blood-based sausage recipes. This morning, a pig's been slaughtered. Every part of it will be prepared for eating in the traditional way. Uh, in my village, uh, when they kill the pig, uh, they drink a, a small portion of the fresh blood. Warm blood. Warm, warm. And they also uh, drink plum brandy. Ah, yes. Sanatate. 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 While the women start the cooking, I get on with a bit of male bonding, Transylvanian style. I'll try that, thanks. Yeah. I'll have a big head. No, no, no. After one too many brandies, I drag myself away from the boys to help with the cooking. <laughs> the villagers are going to show me two different types of blood sausage. Ah! Oh, That's what happens when you try and <laughs> cut meat with a sharp knife and drink too much brandy. That's what happens. I came here to find out about cooking with blood. I didn't expect to be adding some of my own. <laughs> so what, what's, what's in here? Uh, well, uh, this is for the uh, blood sausage. Using the chopped pork organs, one sausage will be made with blood and stock, but the other one is made just with blood. If you want to taste. Are you going to taste? Well, I shall make a sacrifice. OK. You'll be a vampire. I'll be a vampire one day. The two different sausage mixtures are stuffed into the cleaned intestines of the slaughtered animal and then are boiled for a couple of hours. As soon as they're ready, they're brought to the table. No, 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 no. First, I'm trying the bloodiest one. It's black pudding. It tastes like black pudding. Mmm, that was a bit familiar. Now I'll try my luck with the other one. Oh, this one's very interesting. I haven't had anything quite like this before. Because it's got a small amount of blood and more of the broth the stock. You've ended up with a, a sort of red blood flavoured jelly. It's very light and very delicate. Delicious! And I've got to find a way of getting that sausage into my dish.